All right, guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you some massive, massive gains from one of our recent premium trading sessions. And we're also gonna be talking about the value of our indicators. My name is David with Binary Masterclass, and welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, so let's get into today's trading. And as you can see, I'm looking at a pound Aussie setup. It does get down to a support level. There's a number of good supports on this chart. So I actually like the currency overall. I just actually didn't happen to like where I got that, that entry. You can see it's actually moving around quite radically. Obviously, the video's sped up just to make it a little more watchable. We're watching it at about three times speed right now. I didn't really catch this one where I wanted, but nonetheless, it got down to another support and I took another entry there. It's just kind of playing around at these bottom support levels and it actually gets down to the most solid of the three support levels. So I actually took a third entry there. I don't often get into second and thirds in such a short period, but you can see I win my second entry there and it does actually respond pretty nicely. I do win a very, very nice trade right here. And guys, I think we actually make like almost $500 just on that trading cycle alone. Um, it got to some really good areas and it's just the, the likelihood of winning those was just very, very high based upon the indicators and what they were telling us. And so now I'm looking for another setup and I'm watching CAD Frank come down to a support level on the right there. Uh, where does it, okay. It's almost there, there. Okay, just gets to the support. We do take a call entry on it. And it actually responds very, very nicely. Now, I really like this setup. It is one of my favorite setups. This is an uptrending currency and we are, are taking an upward trade on it. We're going with the trend. It's always better to trade with the trend because the trend is your friend. And we win that one in a first entry very nicely for another 40 something dollar profit. And where are we going next? I'm actually looking at Euro USD. Guys, this is another one of my favorite setups. We have Euro USD moving higher on a downtrend. Is it gonna get to that resistance level? It all, it doesn't quite get there. And we actually got kind of a bad fill on this. So I'm just gonna have to kind of trust that this currency will follow what it is supposed to do and continue to trend down. Hopefully we don't get a kind of a trend reversal in the middle of this trade and we do not it does end up breaking farther down we win another nice first entry on this one as well i always love trading with the trend guys i try to avoid as much as possible trading against a trend i just think that's a way to get yourself extended too deep into setups too often so we're actually looking for another setup right now and actually kind of back to euro usd and you can see it's moving back up and if it gets to the high of that previous candle, I will like it and I will probably take an entry on it. I'm not sure if it'll get all the way to the resistance and it actually does kind of get there. I do take an entry and I actually had a second entry trade size set up on this. I just, you know, I went up trade sizes as my account size has grown during this session, but it does end up breaking higher. I don't think it's gonna go all the way to that resistance, but I do really like where it's at. So I don't, oh, and I, I got a terrible fill, but I do end up winning that first entry. It does tart down on me. I got a terrible fill. So I'm actually in a very vulnerable spot on my second entry on this one, but let's just see what happens here. Guys, if I can win this one, it'll be an, a nice additional $180 profit to the $90 I just won. I did win that guys. I've now doubled my account just in my first four trading cycles today. So that's awesome. I made over $700 just in those four cycles. So now I actually lower my first entry trade size. I get more conservative because I've already made target for the day. I've got another session to lead. And so I, I need to be trading, but I really don't want to put my account in a vulnerable spot. So I'm actually looking over here on EuroCAD if it can get up to this result oh, and it gets there and I do take an entry on it, but it, it actually does move through that resistance. I lose that first entry. I do take a second entry. Well, I'm actually losing the entry. Let me say that I, I switched over. To, I took a second on Euro pound as it got to a resistance. I do end up losing that first on Euro CAD, but my Euro, second on Euro pound does end up responding at the resistance 
just like it's supposed to as it does a good percentage of the time. And if you'll notice, I'm taking trades right at levels. Even that second entry, I moved over to another currency, but I took it at a good level, which just increases your likelihood of winning entries and closing out trading cycles. So now we're looking for another trade. I'm kind of just scanning around here. USD franc though, okay, just is getting up to a resistance level. And I do take an entry on USD franc, a put entry at that resistance. It does end up responding again. The general trend of this one is lower. So I do like it overall like going with the trend. Oh, although we do end up losing that first just by one pipette at the last moment. So I'm looking for an opportunity for a second entry here. Um, where are we going to find one? Scanning around, I go over to Euro Pound that is trending higher, but it is currently moving lower. So I really like this setup. If it can get down to this support, which it is almost to, I will grab a second right there. Okay, I like that area. It is at a previous area that it's had issues with a couple of times, both as a support and a resistance. It looks okay, it is definitely responding here. We are deep into the money and we are probably in all likelihood going to close out a second entry win right here. And we do on Euro pound closing out that trading cycle successfully. And let's see if we can find one more entry for the day. And I'm looking here at pound CAD and I'm watching it. If it can get up to that resistance, then I will take a put on it. I just actually, I don't like that. It is kind of going against the trend. I do end up taking it. It's kind of going against the trend, although it did travel a long way down after it hit this resistance previously. So I'm not sure actually, it doesn't mean we're not going to win this, but it's just not my favorite setup. We win plenty of these. It just does kind of like what it's doing now. And it does end up pushing a little farther through. So we end up losing our first entry there. I should have gone with my instincts and now it is actually up at a very, very nice level here. So I do take a second on it at another level. It traveled another several pips. And so the likelihood of winning this second entry is actually very high because it, it does end up responding at that resistance comes down to the previous level. We are nicely in the money and we do win that trading cycle. We close out a nice second entry win on pound CAD. We are up to 1,563 in the account guys. We made $853 today in just seven trading cycles. In about an hour of trading, we more than doubled our account simply by trading our, our support and resistance strategy in utilization in combination with our indicators and guys, if you would like to join us live in these trading room sessions and make this money with us, click the link in the description below. Join us at binarymasterclass.com. Go through our bootcamp and we will see you in the trading room.